Hi, Go players! Welcome back to our How to Master Your Opening Series. I'm Filippo. So last week we discussed about the social invasion and how how will black simplify things when we block on this side. So actually, black can also block on this side. So if black plays this side, because due to the difference of the surrounding stones, it will be slightly different in this case. So white was still wrong, and in this case. Black is not, it's not very good for black to honey in this case. Because even if you play the AI variation or the simple variation, take the corner. Black is not totally unplayable or very behind, but the development of this corner and this corner is limited. Now white gets the center because this is not white stone, white will not play this move. White will tanuki. In this case, white uses the center to break the development of the right hand side. And then I protect the corner. Now it's very hard for black to catch up and uh, get the first move advantage in this case. So, but if you choose the traditional kind of Joseki, the direction of this wall is not very good. White can always try to extend. If you are trying to attack me, instead of pressing corner, I will just do the pincer. I will force you to take the corner and I will be very strong in this case. As long as the wall of black cannot be very efficient, it's subject to further peeping here, or I mean reduction either by the side or now of course black white will not play any any longer on the top. White will just defend the core. But later on the efficiency of this black wall is very it's not very fully used in this case. So if we choose to block this side, because it's not it's not following what the traditional textbook says that we need to block on our influence to prevent whites from reducing our own territory. So actually this is the new theory. So of course we cannot follow the traditional moves of this honey. We can either play this extension or this. The logic is actually the same. So we still were still trying to block white from getting stones on the right hand side, but in different technique. And I must say that if you choose to block on this side, you are choosing more complicated ways. So once again, if you are not very comfortable with reading, you always want to block on this side and choose simple variation. If you choose this, it's more difficult. So first is this one. If white plays a nice move here, black can either tanuki, shifting to the top side by playing this honey and then attach. Or still focus on this side by playing this honey. So this is the new variation. White will have two responses. One is the simple response of this. White extend and black extend. So it seems that black cuts this white stone off, it seems very good for black, but actually it's playable for both. If white choose to play stone on this by playing split move, 
black or Atari incentive. Later, because this is also a center of black, black is actually very strong in the corner. Black will play the checking extension, and white is actually quite struggling in terms of dealing with these two stones. So usually black will, white will extend out, and black will play this extension. Uh, in more commonly, white will push instead of play this Atari. Because this Atari, it seems that it's black shifts to the right hand side too easily, and this is the intention of black to develop the right hand side. Remember, the two star point and defender we always want to develop our own territory. So, in this case, at least no matter the Whatever the win rate is, black achieve the purpose. So, white of course want to counter attack. And at this stage, white will have two responses again. One is this Atari. In this case, now because the ladder works for white, so, if white plays this black move, black cannot use the ladder to capture this stone. If white, white escapes, this is a must defend for black. So actually, white gets to start the fight on the right hand side first. Instead, black will choose this indirect move to capture white. And what can it? This is a very big move, and this is a big move too. But there are also other big moves, for example, playing here to reduce black. If black plays here, this is a follow up. Later on, there is no immediate life and death problem for white on this corner. This is the latest, one of the latest AI variation, by the way. Another, res another response for black or for white is to Atari. If black Atari, white will counter Atari or Tanuki. So, if white wants to play simple, let's say, white will turn okay, maybe approach. Even if you capture, I'll capture this. Uh, because of the, the cutting point, the black is not necessarily very good in this case. Actually, this is acceptable for both players. If you play the pincer, later on the cutting point is still somewhat severe. You will need to Atari and then maybe push another move. If you push another move, maybe white will capture you. So if you play not play the shape move, white will, white will bend and press your head down instead of just getting a wall here. White can also capture. This is another simple variation. If black connect, black will have to connect. This pincer, uh, this pip again would be an RG later on to reduce black's influence. So white will probably still try to invade this right hand side by this or this. And white can also use Atari. I'll reserve this variation and the very complicated things later on as a special lecture of what are the complicated Joseki in the three swing invasion. Now I will conclude that this is a fighting Joseki and it it really depends on how well you can manage your fight. If you are not comfortable with this fighting, probably it's 
not recommended for you to play this just like especially for black because remember we are trying to block on this way if white plays this unless you can look it if you can look it of course things will be easier but if you choose the follow-up it's white white choice to easy to either play simply or to play complica complicatedly. So unless you are very confident about all the follow-ups, you should not choose this variation. Of course, now the ladder also works for what what can still play this. But in this case, black will no longer play this push because that's not my direction. I will push, although I cannot cut, of course, if I cut, it will return to the very simple version that is not necessarily good for me. I will not cut from this side too, because the ladder doesn't work, but I will hunt it from the corner. So in this case, because the pincer is very big, the pincer is trying to, it's kind of checking extension. So white will need to respond anyway, but because the shape is broken it's very hard for white to play a suitable suitable next move unlike this direction if black choose to honey now white can comfortably tanuki because if you pincer some some somewhere like that the efficiency of this pincer stone is not necessarily very big because this is my start point i can just ignore you and try to play somewhere else if you take the corner i'll get out if you cut a side i will capture if you cut from this side i'll capture if you block me i'll leave the corner so in this case even if you pincer it's not very very worryable uh worrisome thing for me but in this case because right hand side is black's influence if i get to pincer from let's say here or here now black, white will have to respond because if you do not respond i'll take you take your route now you need to escape and on the way of fighting out i'll i'm very happy to territorize this right hand side and it's very hard for white to fight a way out to the center. Imagine if I change this to a white star. Now you can see that these two stars now become immediately very weak. If I fight out, I can pincer you. That's a huge difference of the surrounding stone. So the surrounding stone matters a lot if you are choosing a variation. And of course, you can choose this too. And this is the most complicated Joseki in the 3 3 invasion. Once again, if you are not very comfortable about your reading ability and your fighting ability, you should not play this move. Because once white attached from the lower, the second line, it's very hard for black to simplify things. Of course you can play this but once again we we say that because the direction is not favorable for black in this case black will have to block white to achieve the purpose of developing the right hand side and we know that this is the famous or infamous jersey key that prevents a lot of pairs of playing this variation. Uh, once again, I mentioned last week, Ryan has a special lecture on this Joseki. If you're interested in that, you can always dig into that Joseki. So, I'll return to this one. Because if you 
choose to play something else, it will be. Let's say if white avoids the complicated things, it will return to this juicy cake again. There is another thing before we conclude today's lecture. Let's say on this. We said that when we play this variation, if white choose to a tarry, there is a ladder problem in this case. There is a ladder problem. If black can capture this stone cleanly, even if you have some ladder breaker, this version is good for black because black, the next move to attack is very severe. Without any RG and Sente here, the black group, the white group is very heavy and the it's very hard for white to get satisfied result in the satisfying result in this case. So what can black do to make the ladder work? Of course, I want to play some ladder breaker, but at this point, white will just extend and capture you. The ladder breaker is not big enough to compensate in this case because that's the beginning of the game. There's it's very unlikely for black to get a huge ladder breaker. So probably it's almost like a placing two, move, two moves consecutively at the corner. It's two normal moves value, but this extent is definitely larger than one normal move in the opening. So when is the time to play the ladder breaker? is here. So after white plays the knight move out, now I can play the approach. If you play the pincer, it is against your favor to fight on the bottom side because I already have the star point, I also have the one more knight move here. If you pincer, it's against your will. You probably defend the corner anyway. And in this case, the ladder now works for me. If you still play this, I'll just capture you. We can do a simple line here and I'll Atari here, you escape and I'll Atari here. This will be no longer ex escapable for, black, for white. So, white in this case will have to choose the other version here. Black Atari, white extend. Black capture. If if white escapes, this fight is not good for black or for white because you cannot leave the corner anyway. Black will just try to push and capture all of you. So if you play the nice move out. Uh, capture. In this case, the the result is somewhat similar to this kind of shape. The thing is that in this case, white is not very. I mean, white have some, let's say, RG here. The RG is more. But black can always try to block you. So actually black is more complete on the right hand side. In this case, however, black is not that complete. I can always 
try to escape these four stones by will be very heavy. So there's a pros and cons of the two versions and we normally think that if the right hand side is black's influence, this this result is slightly better for black than this version. That's why when the ladder works for white, white is almost always choosing this variation instead of this. But now because black plays the ladder breaker first, white has to play this. So black is successfully using the sequence of opening to force white choosing uh, an unfavorable Joseki. That's also a very important technique in the opening part. Of course, let's say white can say that I have ladder break too. So now of course, because the ladder works for you, I'll capture you, but white have this ladder break. In this case, black capture, white block, but as I said, this move is very severe for black. So, if you try to escape, it should be a very hard fight in this case because I can't do anything about it. I can push and cut. I can also push here. So, the benefit black gets is enough to compensate the loss here. If you don't play the ladder breaker, let's say protect yourself either by here or here. I will not, I mean, spend one more move here. I will either probably play something like this or try to defend the corner again. If you play the ladder breaker in the future, I will make something like this to make the right hand side very big. And that's also improve my efficiency a lot. So the difference between capture cleanly and playing this move is that capture cleanly reduces the RG here. It's easier for black to attack. But if you protect yourself, I, I don't need this RG. Now I can protect in a more efficient way to develop the right hand side model. So the main takeaway for today's lecture is that if black blocks on the top side, black is trying to get things more complicated. So how can white avoid this kind of complication? Instead of playing here, white will play this. So if white honey, once again it will return to this variation. White can also choose to Atari and then play the tiger mouth. This shape looks familiar. It looks like this result. We know that this is not good for black in most cases. But what if black will remove one stone because this exchange is not good for black anyway. So if we play this, locally it's slightly better for black because if black plays here, white will probably have to play some extension here and later on we still have some testing move and that those kind of things to harass, let's say, this white group. If I have one more capture stone, I am no longer needing this kind of extension, I can just look it. But in this case, because you protect the corner, this right hand side is very important for black. So as long as my group can reduce your efficiency on the right hand side, this joystick is playable for white. So remember, so if you are not very confident about playing those complicated variations, you can also choose to simply 
white can also choose to simplify the just a key by playing this story. So that's all for today's how to master opening. And in the next class, we'll move on to other variations in the two star point opening. Thank you for watching. And I'm Filippo. If you like our videos, please subscribe us and follow our social media. Thank you. Bye.